Hello guys and welcome to Code Shortcut. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how can we integrate Signature Pad in Laravel 11. You can use Signature Pad when you have a requirement of electronic signature and one basic example could be online employment agreement, which we are going to discuss in this video as well. So without wasting any further time, let's start and let's move to step number one, which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or you can use an existing project. It's totally up to you. If you have Laravel globally installed, you need to use this command. If you don't have Laravel globally installed, you will be using this command to create a fresh Laravel project. In my case, I have already created this project to save the time. Once done, you can move to step number two, which says that we need to access the project. In my case, I have already done that right here, signature one and right here, signature one. Okay. So once done, you can simply move to step number three, which says that we need to install the sign pet package. So I'm simply going to copy this command. Let's move to git bash and let's paste it right here, hit enter. So this command is going to take some time for the execution. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay guys, so you can see the package is successfully installed, which means that we can move to step number four, which says that we need to create, uh, publish the config migration and publish the assets as well. So first of all, uh, let's say if you want to do any changes related to configuration, so we need to run this command, okay? So using this command, we will be uh, publishing the config and migration. So let's move to git page and paste it right here, hit enter. It is going to prompt us uh, if you would like to run the migration, I will say yes. And it is going to ask if you want to give a star. For this video purpose, I will say no, but if you like this pro uh, package, please do. Hit enter. So right here you can see signpad has been installed and at the backend what happened we have a new model named signature and it has a related table called signatures right here. We will be using this specific table to create relation with any of the model. Okay, we will uh, discuss this in more details in step number five. Now let's run this command to publish the assets. So let's move again right here. Hit enter and done. Step number five, update the user model. As I said, so now we have at the back end using this package installation at the back end, we have one signature model and signature table using which we can create relationship with any, any of the model of our choice. In this case, I'm using user model so that I can demonstrate this example. But in your case, the this model could be document post or anything let's say you want signature on any specific document etc it can be anything what you need to do is you need to do the same changes to that specific model which you are let's say assigning to have a relation with signature okay so i have put the comment right here as well so you can understand it better so let's move to first of all user.php okay and let's paste it right here include signature handling traits and contracts using these two okay let's move forward now we need to assign user that he can be signed okay so i will just replace this with this one and i will put a comment properly sorry okay now it's fine so user model implements can be signed for signature capabilities okay so right here is the change okay let's move forward and this is the last change in this file we need to pass that user can require signature. That's it. Now we can simply move to step number six, which says that we need to create and update the route. So yeah, just copy this. So right here you would say we don't have a user controller. Yes, correct. We are going to create it in the next step. Okay. So let's move to web.php. And since it was written, create an update. So we need to update. Okay. Yeah. So right here, I have a user controller, which we are going to create using this route. We are going to display the form of user and sign creation. And right here, we are going, to, this is our post request to submit the uh, form. And then there is this one to display the agreement, which user signed right here using these two. Okay. So first one to show the form, the second to submit the form and the third one to show the agreement. Let's move forward. Step number seven, create a controller. So simply copy this command. Let's sorry, git bash, paste it here, hit enter. Okay, then we need to replace this with a user controller. Why? Because I have already defined everything right here. Okay, so let's move here. Let's access user controller, control A, control V, just like that. 
okay so we are using a uh, signature once again storage str you can see that okay let's move to public function create this is going to return the sign up form actually it's not a sign up form it's a user employment agreement form okay you will see so that you can understand it better then in the store method we are going to validate the data username email required uh, sorry password sign required okay then we are going to create a user based on the validated data then we are going to pass the signature and save it as png and then we are going to save this in the signature where is the signature so right here let me show you the table signatures right here so whatever model you are going to assign it will be passed right here with the model id okay so now i think it makes more sense once done we are going to redirect back with success message and if not we are going to show uh, we are going to see uh, error related to anything it could be name or anything third show so using this we are going to display the user details or agreement details you can say with the sign okay so yeah that's about it let's move to step number 8 which says that we need to create a link storage link so let's copy this let's move to git bash hit enter once done we are ready to save our signatures in the public directory okay step 9 create views as i said we are going to create and show user some form so that he can fill the agreement so let's copy this one first one first okay let's move to sublime resources views and let's create a new file and we are going to name it sign dot blade dot php okay let's put it right here the code so we have a post request which we are going to submit using this one slash confirm and let's say if we have any error we are going to display it right here and let, sorry uh, success right here and if if we have any error we are going to display it right here okay let's move down so right here you see there is no submit form because by default when we use the signature pad it is going to give us two buttons clear and the submit okay and here is the js for the sign pad so yeah looks fine let's move forward create an additional view so we are going to create one more view using which we are going to display the user agreement as i said so let's move again view new file paste it and let's save it with the name show dot blade dot php i don't see the other file so i think i made a mistake somewhere sign dot blade dot php oh it's fine okay yeah so let's move forward it's time to test so let's run it so php artisan serve and let's access our project like that and right here we have our form okay so let's fill it out code shortcut email and i think i have implemented a uh, password complexity so just make sure to assign number characters upper case letter and lower case letter so let's do the sign so i can clear it okay then cs let's submit it and you can see employment agreement submitted successfully i will create one more just to make you guys understand i know you already did it i'm just joking okay yeah so let's do any signature clear and we can signature like that okay let's do a clear one sorry okay so submit and it's done so now let's say if you want to see the agreement you can simply type show slash and the user id in this case i created the first user so right here you can see okay similarly you can see the second user all right here okay so yeah guys that's it and for more details you can always refer to the documentation because there is much more that you can use but yeah from this specific video that's it and i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care